Right, let's look at some of the mythology of the mythology and Donkerweb. And we're starting off with Valkyrie. So the first time we meet Valkyrie is in the Hof in court with Greg's father, Chris, his court case. She's also at Fensters, the Straattheater, when Greg is a first year student in Stellenbosch. She asks questions about him and Greg doesn't realize it at the time, but he sees her in Venice at the Academia, it's a gallery museum by Michelangelo's David statue. And of course, we read about Valkyrie on the last page of the burnt book that is mysteriously sent to Greg in his search for the baker after he phones Mrs. Trollope. So the Valkyrie were female. Oh, that's a bit small. Oh, yes, my picture. There we go. For the Thor fans in you, there's the character Valkyrie, and I've thrown in a Hemsworth just for good measure. Um, so the Valkyrie were female spirits in the Norse mythology, and they decide who lives and who dies. So our Valkyrie in the book, there's quite a few, and I think these ones with the stars um, relate to how she decides who lives and who dies. So it was her idea to put the, the inner tube over Rachter Gerike's head in the execution video that Greg um, receives. Towards the end of the book, she is the one that has the injection containing atropine. It's, it's a behandling, so it's not really an, uh, what's it, like an anti-venom, what's the, it's not really a cure, but it's a, it's a treatment for the paroxone, and I've put it in um, inverted commas because the chemical that they poison Greg with is like paroxone, which we will discuss when we do Project Coast, I think it is. Um, Greg is vergiftig, he was poisoned with that, um, with the cap that he got from the stall holder in Venice, but that's a separate video. Um, Valkyrie then was on the boat that crashed into Greg's boat at the end when they escape from the baker and it's either her or her henchman that then shoots Plunk and kills Plunk. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, and it was also, this one is I think an important one, it was Valkyrie's idea to hide the hemorrhagic virus in the flu jabs, which was part of Project Nursery Rhyme. So hemorrhagic, it means yay, you bleed, yay, bluey, and you can't stop bleeding. Uh, what else is there? Oh, there's a reference. Uh, I've read in some study guides where they say she's the baker's wife. I'm not too sure about that. Um, but it's, it did say any book says he baker, she's his Lady Macbeth. That, um, you know, yeah, that, that spurs him on in all his evil deeds. And then she is actually the one that introduced Voorstel, say it for the baker, introduced on Chris Owen in Doc Binar, that started the whole project nursery rhyme. So I think that takes care of Valkyrie. Then we move on to Prometheus. There's quite a few references where Zander sort of cryptically starts quoting. And um, I don't think I have all the page numbers. I know there's one on page 149. Prometheus was in the Greek mythology, um, and what he did, he stole fire from the gods to give it to man. Uh, Zeus then caught him, was very upset, and he chained him to a rock. So every day, an eagle would come and eat his liver, and every night his liver would grow back. And this vicious cycle would just repeat itself every single day. So the liver, the liver, because the ancient Greeks believed that your soul was in your liver. So on page 259, Zander explains very nicely how this relates to him. Um, because Prometheus, he regretted that he then stole the fire. He tried to do something good and it backfired. In Netsuhid Zander work, he regrets his social engineering attack on Greg's family. He thought he was doing a good thing, you know, making um, Greg's father pay for his misdeeds. In Project Nursery Rhyme, but then he saw how it tore Greg's family apart. So the baroness of his spite, the the regret, eats him every day. Um, so it's a metaphor. 
you could say Xander is like Prometheus. Then we have Medusa. So Greg first encounters her in Istanbul at the Basilica Cistern of the Versunke Palace, which is like the sunken palace. Medusa had snakes for hair. I think she was also in the Greek mythology. And the legend goes that if you look at her, you will uh, turn into stone. But her, f her face was put on buildings to keep evil away, which is kind of ironic, considering this is when Greg flies the first time to Istanbul to go and meet Zander, because he's not too sure whether Zander is good or evil yet. So yeah, Greg sien die eerste keer weer vir Zander. He sees him the first time again after the, um, the ending of, of Donkerwebs. Oh, uh, sorry, the ending of Onerwereld. So this is the first time that Greg encounters Zander again. And then also when they go off to Venice, there's a reference where Greg um, sees a statue of Medusa and he compares the, this the slunger. Um, we'll discuss all the snake symbolism in another video but he compares the snakes on her head to Doc and his dad and the baker. They are like a bunch of snakes. And the last one is the Gordiaanse Knoop, or the Gordian Knot. In this one, Dirk, Lisa's dad, remember Plunk's girlfriend, Lisa? Um, Dirk tells Greg about the Gordiaanse Knoop, once Greg tells him all about the baker and what he's up to. So what that is, it's a rope and it's so stijf geknoop. It's knotted so tightly that you can't see the beginning or the end. And the only person that managed to undo it was Alexander the Great, according to the mythology. And then on page 295, again, there's this metaphorical where Greg compares Zander. He's like Alexander the Great. Because that is where Zander, I marked the baker, se crimes bekent. Um, He's, he brings the baker's crimes to light. He uses the docks wear. I'm not too 100% sure on all the, uh, the computer terminology. My understanding is it's a Trojan, like a virus. So Zander had access of Tuchang tot Stadler, who we now know is the baker, to all his data and his, um, and his laboratories and, and his latest research into the brain control um, and Zander then threatens to send it to the media. So Zander uh, is the one who unties, if you will, or, or cuts through this Gordian knot of all the evil doings of the baker. So hopefully that takes care of all the mythology.